the stock market. It's cracking. We told you. I'm Bill. This is Toby. Hello. We are Unhinged Crypto. <clears throat> we're coming out with premium products where we're going to bring this unique, hyper accurate analytical method to places like Discord and Patreon. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Today, we're going to give you a stock market update. Toby gave us the high with Venus in retrograde a few weeks back, a very hated but accurate video. So, Toby, it was welcome. hated? Oh, yeah, they, they were all grumpy because we told them stocks were going to go down. They did. Aww. Always a good sign when they're grumpy. It is? It, okay. it is. Well, I don't want to make anything. People... Now, they're, now they're paying attention. Now, <laughs> now, we, now that we have their attention, let's see what we got for them. Oh, they go up. They go down. <laughs> That's right. If it doesn't go up, it'll go down. We'll see you next time. No, we're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so we're kidding. No, I'm just saying. Cycles. We're way more accurate than that. Cycles of life, right? That's right. Don't get too attached. You can't always go up. Down is an opportunity. That's right. right? Down means you can do something. Up, you just got to sit around and wait. Who wants to do that? Okay. Three card pull on what the stock market is going to be. So the past, we have the chariot. Things are moving. It's all about balance and control. The chariot card when it comes up in a personal reading is all about managing your resources and and um, not letting one horse run too far ahead. You have to keep both of the horses balanced or sphinxes in this case. You have black, white, and the white sphinx. Okay. Okay. And then where we are now, ah, we're in people aren't happy. Oops. They're walking away. They've done well. But they don't feel fulfilled. It's a great card. It's not necessarily a bad card. It's just that, um, I mean, there's, you know, there's eight cups, right? right? So there's been some success, but it hasn't been fulfilling enough, right? right? And so you're walking away looking for the next new venture, right? And then the future, we have the King of Wands, which is interesting because wands are, you know, oh, <laughs> representative of why we had mics fall and pillows That's jumping right. on me. Oh, it's getting crazy here. <laughs> um, but um, a fire energy, which is usually a good movement card. However, um, the king is the top of that movement. So um it's 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 in its most stable solid form so it's more like a slow burn or a banked fire than it is you know like a knight who's like charging forward and and showing a lot of <clears throat> movement okay so um yeah so with the chariot um it seems to remind me a lot of these ai related stocks well, they were the big thing, right? right. They, that they was were, really driving the market. That's right. So, and I think now, you know, what what you've seen was um, going back to more stable things like, uh, you know, utilities, utilities and wheat and has been big gold, all oil, of these things, right. oil, yeah, which are, you know, not a hundred percent stable. Obviously, nothing in the market is, but. Um, but more traditional kind of in a way, and more traditional stability. Right. And it's interesting that this card with the cups, you know, people may be looking for something different. Yeah. Just as an example, Wall Street Journal kind of came out with a tongue-in-cheek article that when markets get scary, mom and pop buy gold. That was actually a petty. Mm. Right. So people may be out there looking for hard assets. You know, we would like to think they're out there looking for crypto. Certainly, you know, we can talk more about that later. Yeah, but it, it looks like one of the themes that I've had in equities, I call it asset allocation. Mm -hmm. People got to move out of stuff where there's all these profits, right? Remember that reading, like, mm -hmm. take profits, you'll be sorry. Yeah. You know, I, I think Wall Street's starting to get that idea, mm -hmm. right? And and that feels like it's coming through in the card with that guy with the red cape who's walking away. Had fun. Got to find something new. Yeah, I think there's always a push in in the markets and I, I mean i don't know as much about you i just feel you know energy wise what people 
are doing, but, but yeah, when you hit a top in a particular thing, um, people don't want to think long-term. I mean, it's interesting because the market is composed of people who, you know, don't want to do a lot of movement and people who do. Oh, no, nope, I'm not. I wasn't. <laughs> well, <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Something's over there moving on. Um, yeah. And, and so I think the people who are into moving money around are probably going to look for new ventures and other people with the instability that's going on in the world are going to look for safer things. So that would maybe explain both of both of it, the energies, you know. Now this King of Wands card. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. It's very interesting. So mm -hmm. a couple questions. So does that mean uh things may certain things may be stable and certain things won't be? Um, you know, it's like only the king, like Apple and Microsoft gonna be out there. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. So so what I pulled on on that is the five of cups. And the five of cups is generally indicating a loss, right? Um there there's still gains, but loss. Yeah. So I think you know, and this is the problem, even like when when you ask to do readings on just the crypto market, which I think is way more fun than this. But um but there's always winners and losers. You know, it's hard to predict a market overall okay. because even in a really good market, there are things that aren't doing well. Right. You know, it's much easier to do a, a reading on something individual. So <clears throat> here he's really focused on the losses. Right. Right. Even though there have been gains, you know. And so when this card comes up in a personal reading, you know, it's always a reminder to me to tell people, you know what? don't focus on what you've lost, focus on what you still have, you know? So I see some volatility, but I like what you said about the Kings. The, the Kings will probably stay stable. Right. Um, and what I was thinking is, you know, if the Kings are stable, right, that means there are certain stocks that are going to hang in. Yeah. But this feels like either like the banks, which were downgraded two days ago. This is August 9th. So banks were downgraded two days ago, and sometimes with markets, it's shaky. This could mean there's something out there that we don't know about, right? Uh, well, it is in the future. Yeah, there will be losses, you know, and right. and I it, it did resonate what you said, though, about the, you know, the big stocks will probably hold okay. their own and be okay. And the interesting, too, in the right now car, I pulled, I went ahead and pulled a car for everything, and though we don't really care so much about the past but in the present this interesting card came up the the four of cups which is about not being satisfied with what you're given right and this would go along with because it shows up you know of course with the eight of cups so the reason people are moving on to another thing is that they're just like yeah this this isn't really performing as well as i want and so they're looking for something new you know right disappointed late buyers yeah. is what it sounds like yeah yeah you know disappointed late buyers uh perhaps even like the warren buffett stocks doing okay okay but, but watch out because somewhere out there you know there go ahead yeah there's cracks you know as you were saying there's cracks there's cracks in it i it doesn't look like from what the cards are saying that there's going to be a, you know a total collapse you know don't liquidate and go 100 percent into gold maybe it's never a good idea, you know, <laughs> but, but, um, but yeah, just be careful. Look for the Kings, maybe stick with the Kings. That would be a good message. We okay. can just title the video, stick with the Kings. Right. Stick with the Kings. <laughs> it's an asset allocation game and that game is on.